If you're ready to experience more peace and joy in your life, if you want to feel more comfortable in your own skin, and if you're ready to discover and expand on your energetic gifts and personal power, you're in the right place. So here's your host, Kelly Sparta. Hello and welcome to Spirit Guides Thursday Thoughts. This is the place where you will get to hear snippets of conversations I've had with people over the years and get a variety of thoughts for you to consider for today. Enjoy. And so today we're going to talk about the difference between crystallizing your discontent and issuing recriminations and resistance to yourself. And so uh, first off, let me define these terms. Okay. So the crystallization of discontent is a term from psychology that talks about what we need to do in order to be able to effectively uh, move through the change process. We first have to get really clear about what we're unhappy about, because as Tony Robbins likes to say, the pain of the change or the pain of staying the same must exceed the pain of making the change in order for you to make the change. Well, the crystallization of your discontent, the getting really clear about how much pain you're in is creating that awareness of the pain of staying the same to help you fuel your process through the change. Okay. So we, we like it. It's good, right? Now, recriminations are beating ourselves up, right? Resistance can also look like beating ourselves up, right? It can also look like, you know, saying, oh, well, I can't because, or, you know, any number of other things, avoiding the topic altogether or whatever. And and so when we look at the difference between crystallizing our discontent and recrimination slash resistance, I'm looking specifically at the part of uh, resistance that is the beating yourself up piece, because Crystallizing your discontent versus beating yourself up looks and they're, they're very close without being at all related. Okay. So crystallizing your discontent is letting yourself get pissed off and frustrated about the things that are not working. Right. And the reason that we're usually not clear about our crystallization of discontent is because we are only looking at one piece of it at a time, right? So we have these things that we tolerate, right? You know, we tolerate this and we tolerate that. And you generally only run into something that you're tolerating once, one at a time, right? So you may be tolerating like, like, you know, my, my HVAC system overflowed and we just haven't gotten around to painting the ceiling yet. So every day, I, every time I get up from my desk, I look up and I'm like, ah, oh, the ceiling's not painted toleration, right? And so at some point I'll be like enough and I will either paint it or I will hire somebody to paint it because I will be done, right? But that is what we're talking about with tolerations. And so you may have 15 or 20 tolerations in your physical environment, but there's a lot of tolerations that you have in your energetic, emotional environment as well. And so crystallizing your discontent means getting very clear about what the tolerations are that you are putting up with and listing them all, all at once, right? So if I did that with the house right now, I would have a list of probably eight different things that I'm like, I want this fixed and I want that fixed and blah, blah, blah. And it's like, okay, well, when we build up enough, then we'll hire a contractor to come out and deal with them all, right? And in the meantime, we just like, <gasps> you suck it up, right? And so that's the crystallization of discontent. Now, when you compare that to beating yourself up, I look at that and I go, yep, I'm tolerating that. I don't go, wow, I suck because I haven't done this yet. Okay. That's the difference, right? If there is an, I suck involved in the conversation, you are in resistance and or self-recrimination. You're beating yourself up. And we somehow in our heads, we think that beating ourselves up is actually productive We think that if we beat ourselves hard enough, we will stop being lazy or lame or whatever it is that we think we're being. And it doesn't work. I mean, think of all the times that you've beaten yourself up in the past. Did it actually work? No, it doesn't work. It is demoralizing. 
Think about it. If you did that to somebody else, would they be motivated to do anything about the thing that you wanted them to do? No, they'd be pissed at you and they would be passive aggressively avoiding ever doing it in the future because yeah, you deserved it. So, you know, this is the thing. So if you are blaming yourself, if you are shaming yourself, if you are calling yourself names, you are not crystallizing your discontent. You are engaging in resistance and or self-abuse. And so let's be really clear about the difference. Okay. And that's it for this week's Thursday Thoughts. Join us tomorrow for the Ascend Day on the Spirit Guides podcast. So that's it for today's episode of Spirit Guides Podcast. Head on over to iTunes, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you listen and subscribe to the show. Every week, one lucky listener who subscribes and posts a review on iTunes will be entered into a drawing for a $10,000 value grand prize and a private reading with Kelly Sparta herself. Be sure to head on over to spiritguidespodcast.com and pick up a free copy of Kelly's gift and join us on the next episode. Oh,